Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ankush. In this lecture, we'll be discussing about RAC file, RAC, Oracle RAC files. There are different different files are there in the Oracle database. We know about the parameter file, control file, data files, online read log files and undo, which is most important. So we have already seen all these files in the single instance database, like how it is available, whether it is a single for each and every instance, whether it is double for each and every instance, whether we are putting it into the shared storage, all these things we are going to learn with this video. So especially I'm going to target to the undo segment, which is your undo files. So we need to understand one thing that, okay, whether these undo segment files are distributed what is the architecture and many times i saw that people are also asking in this type of question in the interview also so if you are thinking that you want to start your career as a oracle dba along with the rack concept then this video is going to helpful for you again if you are looking for oracle dba training you can reach out to me i just started my new batch all right so let's go to my screen and let's see it practically so I'm going to discuss about the two node rack. Okay, let's say this is your first node. And this is your second node. And we know that we there are multiple files are there in our Oracle rack environment as well as in single database also. So we have a multiple files like your control files, control files, data files, your parameter files. All these files we will put it into a location we called it as a shared location which is basically your ASM and these files will be accessible by your node 1 as well as node 2 both the instance because on every node there will be an instance will be running right so instance number 1 and here instance number 2 both the instance are going to share this control file data files your parameter files okay what about the undo table space this is very important undo table space whether it is a single undo table space or it will be a different different undo table space for each and every instance so basically in a rack environment we will have separate separate undo table space so what we will do we will create a multiple undo table space let's say undo 0 1 which is assigned to the instance number 1 I'm going to create one more undo table space undo 02 which is assigned to the instance number 2. So for every instance we will assign different different undo table space and undo table space will have their undo files. But even though they are different different table spaces even though this is undo 01 which is having their undo files over here and undo 02 which is having undo files over here these are the files let's assume that these are the undo 01 file undo 01 file this is undo 02 file so even though they are a separate separate but it is in the shared shared storage now these files are available in the shared storage it means your instance 2 can access undo 01 your instance 1 can access in undo 02 why it is because undo is basically storing the image of your previous data. Let's say my earlier salary was 1000 and you change it from by using update statement 1000 to 2000. So you have changed it from here from node one. So earlier salary was 1000 and you change it to the 2000. So that 1000 will be stored here in the undo zero one. Now let's assume that Someone is trying to access the same record from the node 2. Someone is trying to access the same record from node 2 so that the person will should the person who is connecting from the node 2 he should get a consistent data right. So earlier my salary was 1000 he changed it to 2000 but he has not done the commit the commit has not done. So since he has not done the commit. I should only get 1000 here. I should not get 2000. So this 1000, 1000 information, which is my previous data, I'll get it from the undo 01. So you, it means to say that instance number one should be able to access your undo from the 
undo 0 1 and instance number 1 should be able to access like this so even though they are separate separate but they should be able to access to each other for the read consistency we called it as a read consistency it should not happen that we are getting some wrong data because those data has been modified on node 1 but if I am trying to access it from the node 2 I should not get the wrong data because the commit has not done so this is all about the undo table space in the rack environment okay I'll show you this practically also this is very important so this is my node 1 guys okay I'm connecting to the SQL plus utility if I try to do show parameter undo show parameter undo I can see that the undo table space is undo 0 1 undo table space 1 where it is on rack number 1 if I fire the same command on node 2 let me go to the node 2 I think I got connected to node 1 only let me do it one more time because I use duplicate session one minute let me go back and connect to the node 2 okay here so if I fire this is my node 2 if I fire a show parameter undo on node 2 and this is my node 1 see the difference here it is undo 0 2 undo table space 2 and here it is undo table space 1 so we can clearly see that node 1 and node 2 have different different undo table spaces what about the files undo files if I go here so I am firing the command like select I want the data files from undo table space so if I fire the command on node 1 this is undo table space 2 so I need to fire it on table space 2 I can see that there is a file which is ended with 6913 I am firing the same command for undo table space 1 undo table space 1 order by 1 so here I can see there is a different file both the files are different different even though they are available on the shared storage but the understanding is both the instance will have access to the under table space so that they can see what is what is the data has been updated all right if you still have any question queries anything please put it into the comment section you can contact me for the oracle database training again if you are think that you don't want to spend much money still you can learn a lot of things over my youtube channel it's completely free of cost thank you guys bye bye